guys, welcome back to another review video. So we're doing another Bath & Body Works soap today. This is the Autumn Spice and Clementine Gentle Foaming Hand Soap with Coconut Oil. So this came out a few years back. Um, I'm sure some of you even recognize the packaging. Um, the scent notes are Sweet Clementine, Golden Persimmon, and Sage. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear Autumn Spice, my brain does not go to Sage. <laughs> That is not what I've, I think anyone was expecting going into this, and I have to give the spoiler. I think this is the first epic fail Bath & Body Works soap I've had to review in at least a long time, if not in ever. Because this one, again, I feel like that name is a lie, first off, because Autumn Spice makes you think of, you know, pumpkin spice spices, those kind of spices. Not frickin' sage. I guess, yeah, technically sage is a spice, but it's not an autumn spice. But clementine, okay. Like, I can kind of get clementine out of it. Where the hell is the persimmon hiding? Like, it's basically, like, the weakest, most watered-down excuse for clementine ever. In, like, the teeniest hint of something else. Like, I don't even know that that's sage. I don't know what it is. I don't know that it's sage. And it's definitely not persimmon. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's so weak. Like, even as you are washing your hands with it, which is really unusual. I've had ones that, like, die quickly after it dries, but, like, usually, at least, as you're actively washing your hands, it's a vibrant fragrance. Yeah, this is weak even while you wash your hands. So, pretty much as soon as they're dry, within minutes, any hint of scent is gone. Like, totally, 100% gone. Epic fail. By the way, this was from the 650 collection, like, well, I guess not collection, but from the days of the 650 soaps, they've gone up since then. I'm aware. I'm aware. I know. But, yeah, this one, epic freaking fail. On concept of what I thought it was going to smell like, I was in love with the idea. But the reality, epic fail. So, uh, while I initially was like, yeah, they should totally bring this one back just by looking at the name, now I'm like, no, they shouldn't keep this one in the vault unless you're gonna like rework that make that like some cinnamon or something like an orange cinnamon which yeah they've done before but like this needs to be reworked because this this ain't it this ain't it so i mean it washes fine it lathers up nicely but that's like the only good thing i could say for it so i mean it technically gets a one out of five have i ever rated a bath and body Works soap that low before I'm not sure that I have, but this one is, like, the biggest fail. I am not sure that I have ever, in all of my years, that I have gone to Bath & Body Works, ever had one fail that hard, except for that one. Oh, I take it back. Remember that one that smelled like an ashtray? I might have given that a one because it was so bad I literally took it back to the store same day and, like, swapped it for something else because it was just, like, unbearably awful. This at least doesn't smell like an ashtray. It's got that going for it, but that's not a very high benchmark to hit. So, yeah, epic fail. I'm gonna just, like, hate pay on that one. Use it up, get it gone, and just be glad as soon as I sail through it. But anyway, that's it for this one. <laughs> so, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what you hear on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.